Hello friends. Today you are going to learn on how to generate ten thousand visitors to your website. Okay. So friends, I am creating a cover sheet for you, right? So you have a proper plan in place. So the step one is you have to optimize your landing page for conversion, right? Okay. So I open this page over here. Okay. So we will take page two as an example. So we have to optimize this landing page for conversion, correct? Okay, right. So what we'll do is then we'll come to a tool called as Unbound, right? Okay. This is a tool which allows you to create beautiful landing pages that actually helps you to generate inbound leads, right? Okay. So what you understand from here is basically you get the templates. Okay. You have to take the snapshot of the template and then create customized landing page. Right? Okay. Then you have to research the keywords. Right? Now, once you research the keywords, there are different categories of keywords. Right? One is high comparators, medium comparators, and low comparators. So you have to select those keywords which has high search volume and low competition. This is very important. Right? So this is priority one keyword. Then you can select those keywords which has medium search volume and medium competition. So this is priority two, right? Okay, and this is priority one. Then you should select those keywords which has low search volume and low competition. This is priority three. So your keyword research consists of three categories. You know, it's called as H M L high, medium, low, right? Okay. Once you analyze the keywords, then you have to finalize the architecture of the landing page, right? Okay. So this is one thing. Okay. So see, the basic thing is what you have to keep in mind is see here you can make sure that you have to write a benefit driven H1 tag, right? Because the H1 tag is very important, right? Plus you have to integrate a primary keyword in the H1 tag as well, correct? See here you can see. You have to make sure that what is the key benefit of my product or service. So this is the parameter one, correct? Now I go back to Google. Okay, this is the landing page builder and lead generation software, right? Okay, I. So here I type three pages dot net, right? Okay. So basically, you can get lot of landing pages template from here. Okay. Before we talk about the insights and how to take templates about the landing pages, right? The first thing is we need to analyze these things. See, they are kept it so nice. The first thing they have added to benefit. See, we do quick analysis. Turn links into customers. Immediate benefit. And if you use these pages, you are going to turn links into customer, right? Okay. So this is the key thing they have added over here. Correct? Yeah. So that's why I keep telling you, right? You always integrate the benefit in your H1 tag by integrating the primary keyword as well. Then, if you go here, you can see they have added lead pages help small businesses connect with audience, collect leads, and close sales. Correct? See again benefit. Easy to build websites, landing pages, pop up, alert bars, and beyond. Right? So see, they have again added the key benefit. Okay? In three lines by integrating the keywords and USPs. Correct? After that, what they have done is. I have added two CTA buttons, right? Okay. One is start a free trial. Watch how it works. Okay. So they have added a demo video and a free trial. Immediately they have done that. Correct. So see, this is the easiest way to improve the conversion. That you have to optimize your content, and you have to optimize your H1 tag, and you have to optimize your CTA buttons. Correct. Then what they have done is they have actually created the architecture. See the text on the left side are the CTA buttons. Right, and you can see the images on the right hand side. Correct. 
So this is what they have done. This is the section one, right? Now this is the section two, right? They have added the SEO optimized text, right? On your landing page, so that when Google comes to your website, right, can identify the theme of your page based on the keywords you are actually going to use, right? See. Now after that, no, they have tried adding the testimonials. Correct? See, these are testimonial section, right? So what are the parameters? First parameter which I told you is, okay, I make a note of it over here. Okay. Benefit of H1 tag. Parameter two is optimize your CPA. Parameter two, correct? And what is parameter three is content optimization. Right? By integrating the targeting and Parameter. So what I'll do is I'll try to increase the font size of the text so that it becomes more readable, right? I'll do this. Easy. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Correct. Content optimization, right? Then, what is the next parameter? Add the demo video. On your language, this is parameter four, right? Then attract the visuals. Try this tool three pages to see it and I'm using tool to get the landing page complete, right? What is the next parameter? Add success stories or testimonial on your landing page. This parameter. Um, what is the next parameter? Here, they have added the CTA button in the navigation menu. So they are having one CTA button over here. Add call to action. Identify over here. The basic thing is the color combination. The color combination of graphics should be correlated to the color combination of your CTA button. Right? Yeah. Okay. This is 
parameter Now, so here you can see the text over here, right? To finalize the architecture. A lovely tool which you all should use. See, so you get so many landing page templates, right? From lead pages. Yeah, see. You have templates which are customized as per the requirements of your business. If you are a B2B company, you are a B2C company, you are a coaching business, you are a musician, there are any number of categories over here, right? So you can just download the templates and you can customize as per your requirement, right? Okay, make sense? Yeah, clear it? Okay, now, next. Like, Let's go to the next parameters. Now you want to increase traffic to your website, correct? I go back to keyword planner. See, you can do analysis of keywords based on the product or based on the USPs, right? So let us take keywords as an example, right? Now why people should go for car rental software? Okay, so I go back to Google. We do analysis on both the factors based on the product and based on the USP. Right? See, this is the paid ad. Normally, you find okay, the USPs of a product in the paid ad. Now, let's remove this ad. Best car rental software. Okay? Start car rental business now. Okay, I say as car rental business. Okay, see, I say as car rental business. Any company who is having a car rental business, they are going to buy a car rental software, right? So I click on get results. So here you have to define the location, right? So my location is not India. My location is. United Arab Emirates, right? So I go here. I click on Target UAE. Okay. Yeah. So then, what I do is I click on Save. Right. See, now you have three hundred fifty-two keywords available. Right. Correct. What I do is I select all, correct? Then we download keyword ideas in the CSV file. Right? The CSV file is getting loaded. So I open this file over here. Yeah, you see this sheet is setting knowledge, right? I go here, I go here, right? Here you get some competition, specificity, everything over here, right? Okay, so you very huge. You will do it over here, right? Now, what we have to do is, once I got this keyword list, correct? You have to do the keyword filtering. This is parameter. The keywords with high, medium, and low. 
right? Okay. Yeah. I hope that makes sense. Right? Okay. So this keyboard shape I have open over here. Okay. I see those keywords which has high search volume and low competition. So go back to Google over here. Right? I go here. I type car. Okay. What I do is I'll copy this keyword. You know what are those keywords? These keywords are called as LSA keywords. So what is the next pointer? Okay. 
period of okay so this will be parameter 11 right now what is the next parameter now let's go back to comparative analysis right I go to google.com, then I click on settings, I click on search settings, then I scroll down, I click on show more, right? Then I click on United Arab Emirates, right? Then click on save. Yeah, click on OK. So what I do is I quickly analyze the comparators in the UAE market, right? I click start. Who are my three competitors and again competitors? So, what I do is first we will unite the three competitors, right? Okay, see, smart card type is the one competitor. Analyze the new comparator as well as the organic comparator. This is parameter. Sure. Right. I close this. Now, P. They have integrated the tender like that, right? So, integrate the tender like that on your value table as well as on. All pages of your website. This is parameter thirty, right? Now, once you come back to comparative analysis, right? So, what all the parameters are, right? So I minimize the screen over here, right? So I go to control view. Yeah, I go to the first code. I control F. I type the title. See. Right? So see, basically, what you have to do is you have to analyze the meta title and meta description part of your compiler. Okay. Analyze the meta title and meta description tags of your compatibles. This is parameter 40. Compelling meta titles and description tags. Title and description tags. Right? Yeah. You have to integrate the primary keyword. You have to integrate. Once you integrate them, 
primary keywords in the meta title, meta description tag, right? So you have to integrate the USPs. the question is what are the examples of CTA, right? So let us discuss the examples of CTA. Examples of CTA. This could be by now can be get your we demo now right or sign up for free Right? So these CTAs you can use in your description tags. Correct? Now we will analyze the architecture. See, they have added one more CTA is called contact us on page form. So you can add the Facebook Messenger CTA on a landing page. WhatsApp number on a landing page. Then add WhatsApp number on your landing page. This is parameter 16. Okay. Right. I see this. These parameters you have to keep in mind, then you have to analyze the content of your comparators. Analyze the content of your comparators. Styling, structuring, as well as the presentation. Parameter 70, right? Okay, so one means you do the all the styling, structuring, content presentations, meta like optimization. Then you have to improve the UX. You have to improve the User experience of the landing page on the mobile and desktop platform, right? This is very very important. Okay, so once you improve the user experience of the landing page on the mobile and desktop platform. Your convergence will improve. Right? Your convergence will improve. Right? Okay? So, this is the parameter 18. Right? So, these things you have to keep in mind, right, while generating traffic to your website. Okay. Now, 
What is the next important parameter is? First, you have to develop the internal HTTP architecture as well as the external Parameter 19. Now, friends, you might be wondering like what is external linking architecture, what is internal linking architecture, right? So, I'll give you the live example, right? Okay, see, I'll open creative.com as an example, right? Creative.com backslash blog, right? Okay. This is the secret blog, right? Okay. So I open any of the blog over here. For example, how hands-free technology helps in starting, right? Yeah. So what you can see over here is see, this anchor text link, keyword in anchor text link goes to the internal link, right? On your website. Right, see it, go, it goes to the link on the landing page. Right, this is internal link. The links which goes within your website, those all are called as internal link. Right, okay. Yeah, so I hope you understood, right? Right, see. If I go down over here, so what you can see, see, I have given keyword in anchor text link, right? See, if we like for example, could work GPS tracking software, right? See, this link goes to the landing page. This is also called as internal link. Yeah, see, one more internal link goes here. We have keyword keyword in anchor text link, GPS tracker. Okay, so these links which goes within your website, okay, those are all called as the internal links. That is why it is very important that if you want to improve your ranking, if you want to increase the number of visitors, then you have to develop the internal linking architecture, right? Okay, clear? Now, I go back here. So, 14. Now, you have to publish content on the micro sites like blogger, WordPress, live journal. Okay, then you have to Give external link to your main site. Okay. This keyword is anchor text. Right. So those are called external links. This is parameter 20, right? So, how this is done? You might be having a question, correct? See. I'll give you an example over here. See. Model plus. Right? See, I go down. So what you can do is you can identify the external links by using three type of syntax. Okay? So it is just very simple. So I do blogger dot com. Yeah. See, 
I'm going to open blogger. Right. So the internet is loading slightly slow. That is why it is taking a bit of time. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah. So you publish content on this micro site automatically. The external link will actually go to your main site. Okay. See. So I have published one blog over here. Right. Yeah, click on view. Yeah. See, this particular blog post is actually published on Blogger. Correct. See. So what happens is you can embed the video, you can embed the content, and then from this platform you can give an external link to your main site. This is your main landing page. So that's how Google considers it as external link. Right. Now, friends, you want. 10k visitors on your platform? Yeah. Here's the secret sauce. You have to do aggressive content marketing for your business to generate 10k visitors. Yeah. So, this is the parameter. Now you might be wondering, like, how can I generate 10 k visitors with content marketing? So you have to publish 30 blogs in a month. Thirty long blogs of 1500 words each in a month. Okay. This is parameter 22. Right. Okay. Now you might be wondering what type of content shall I publish on my platform? Okay. Here is the crux. First thing is you have to keep keywords in mind. Are you publish the content? So keywords can be Rules as high search volume and low competition. Right? This is what you have to keep in mind. This is the crux. Okay? So, how else you can release 10k visitors to your website? Right? So, you have to visit Quora.com. Choose the font size. Yeah. You go here. You have to choose it to the top. Right? Yeah. I go here and say to the top. Right? So what you have to do is you have to create the attractive profile on Quora. Create attractive profile on Quora. Okay, I'll do the font size. I'll do the yeah. So just creating attractive profile on Quora isn't sufficient, no, right? You have to answer all questions in your business domain, which are the part on Quora. Right? All answers should be descriptive. Right? 
Now, what you can do is, I'll give you the heart over here. You can take those Torah answers or you can take those Torah topics. Okay, Torah question as your log topic. This is the parameter 23. Right? Okay? Clear? Sound interesting, right? See, basically, then what you have to do is you have to write an in-depth log on that Pura question. Right. In that log on Pura question, it should be of 1500 words. Very precise and easy. Yeah. Then what you have to do is you have to come back to Pura. Back to Pura, give a summary of the answer and a link to your blog post. That's how you will get started. Your website. Right? So simple. But the key logic here is you have to target those keywords. You have to target those words which should at least have the third volume of 1000 in a month. So you have to play around with n number of keyword combinations. search keyword based on a product name you can based on your USP okay. based on a vertical based on your target audience Then you can find the combination. Then find that combination of the right. Now, the last hack which I am going to tell you is answer the public, which is awesome tool over here, right? You should definitely the prizes. This is the parameter 24. And go here, and go here, and like this. Yeah. Okay. So 
Now let's go to the last two. This is the object. Okay. This is an awesome tool to find questions for your blog topic. And find Can be displayed, right? What is carental software? So it can be displayed in the question format. How, when, are, uh, will, can, right? Yes. So you can download this yes file also. Correct? I hope if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.